Choice Kingdom greetings everybody and happy Ascension Day. Today we celebrate and we remember the ascension of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is on this day that he ascended to heaven. Now listen to what Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says. It says, but you will receive power and ability when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses to tell people about me both in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and even to the ends of the earth. Now, verse 9 says, And after he said these things, the things that I just read right now, he was caught up as they looked on, and a cloud took him up out of their sight. While they were looking intently, verse 10, into the sky, as he was going, two men in white clothing suddenly stood beside them, and who said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into the sky? This same Jesus, every time when I come to this part, you know, I, I get excited. This same Jesus, come on somebody, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in just the same way as you have watched him go into the heavens. Now notice, the Bible says that Jesus, before he ascended, he says to his disciples, I have been talking to you about the Holy Spirit. I've been talking to you about, you know, the strengthener, the one that is going to show you things to come, the one that is going to be besides you, the one who is going to be with you when I am gone. He says, you will receive him, and when you're receiving him, you are receiving the power, you are receiving the ability to be my witnesses, he says. And then he says, you're going to tell people about me, both in Jerusalem and Judea, Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. He says, I'm going to allow, you know, the empowerment and the endowment of the Holy Spirit to come upon you, but that is dependent on me living and ascending to heaven. So the Bible says while they were listening to him and while they were looking, the scripture says publicly, not in secret, he was ascended to heaven. And the Bible says that, you know, two, two big angels or two men, you know, stood beside him and stood beside them and said to them, men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into the sky? This same Jesus that you see him taken away, the scripture says that he is going to come back one day. So I'm excited today, you know, about the ascension because the ascension communicates a lot of things for us. The ascension says that Jesus has been taken up. Not only has he been taken up to rest, the scripture says he is taken up so that he can sit at the right hand side of the father. And the scripture says that he is making intercessions for you and me. He is praying for you and me. He is, you know, interceding on our behalf just for us and not only is he interceding the scripture says you know the same jesus had to go so that the holy spirit can come i tell you man we needed the holy spirit we were not going to be able to do this thing on our by ourselves we needed the holy spirit and i'm grateful for the holy spirit and i thank god for the holy spirit but it took jesus to ascend so that the holy spirit can come Somebody might be saying, but Pastor George, you know, what about, you know, the resurrection? What about the death of our Lord and Savior? Hey, listen to me. Those events were very important and powerful. It's when Jesus was on that cross, you know, that his blood was shed for the washing of our sins. It's when Jesus was on that cross that, you know, we know that by his stripes we are healed. And we know that when he resurrected, the Bible says we resurrected with him. Resurrection means a lot. But as much as the death and as much as resurrection means a lot, so is ascension. Ascension of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ means a lot to us. Like I explained earlier on, the Holy Spirit now dwells in the inside of us because he ascended to heaven. So may, uh, merry or happy, you know, Ascension Day, everybody. And I hope that you enjoy this day and keep on remembering its significance. And God bless you.